James Lynn is James the Wine Guy with one of my favorite subjects, which is Sauvignon Blanc. This is a wonderful producer, Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc, so stay tuned. So what we have of course is Cornerstone Cellars. This is Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc, 2011 vintage, 14.1% ABV wine. Now it's just one label and very well done. It's, it's so unusual, absolutely elegant, beautiful. And the content inside is absolutely elegant, beautiful as well. So Sauvignon Blanc spends five months in mature French oak, 361 cases in total. Now the Sauvignon Blanc is sourced from Talcott Vineyard in St. Helena. Now the retail price point is $25. I'll be tasting two other vintages. I'll have a review for the 2009, 2010, 2011. I'll link them all together right here. In addition to that, I will also just review them side by side. The reason is very simple. So I don't always get a chance to do a vertical tasting, but when I do, I will definitely share with you those verticals. So, um, you know, fantastic variety and one where I love Sauvignon Blanc and it's something that, uh, you know, almost a mad love affair with Sauvignon Blanc that I didn't used to have. Uh, I would compare, say, Sauvignon Blanc to Chardonnay or to uh, other white wine varieties and I thought, oh, wow, yeah, that's good. I'll, you know, I'll go to the next variety other than Sauvignon Blanc. And I think ultimately, it's where our palate is at the time. So maybe I was expecting a maybe a bolder white wine versus a really elegant, beautiful, uh, definitively Bordeaux-esque uh, white wine. And for me, I think it's a love affair that just doesn't go away, it doesn't dissipate over time. So a little more in my glass. And uh, so I'll characterize this wine by talking about the uh, scent characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. So what I love about this wine and all Sauvignon Blancs uh, depends on where they're coming from they all characterize differently and this vertical tasting is really going to give those uh, definitive points of how Sauvignon Blanc is uh, you know vintage over vintage different and uh, just like other wines right no difference so here we go first scent characterization flavor profile and the point score scent characterization on this wine includes mm, a gentle touch of lemon curd lime zest pine nut and fresh herbs, a little bit of white tea and uh, white flowers as well. So, and next, a flavor characterization and then the point score. Mm. Very crisp, beautiful, mineral-esque uh, Sauvignon Blanc, notes of Meyer lemon, kumquats, Adriatic fig, white pepper, star thistle honey, and hints of marjoram and tea. This is a 9.3 out of my 10.0 scalp. A beautiful wine, think of this as a 93 point wine out of 100 points. And a fantastic journey I've been on this year, 2014. And I really point that out because I think it's been the most uh, ecumenical year with a small e. And uh, it's a definitively different, fun, exciting year. I think it's highlighting on the coursework of beautiful, artistically driven wines. And I think it's also getting wines from around the planet, from the furthest reaches of the planet, and uh, also wines from around the corner. So stay tuned for more. Again, 9.3 out of a 10.0 scale. You can find me on many social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you so much for watching, following me today. Uh, ask questions, give a like, uh, give a follow, uh, subscribe, and uh, share the video as well. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more. Salud.